Hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm over at Costalana by Taylor Morrison in the Red Point Village of Summerlin, and I am doing a frame walkthrough with my clients. I've already sold one home uh, in here a month or so ago, and those clients were the original people that first bought into this community. So basically when you buy in Taylor Morrison or in Constellana, they're going to spec out all the homes. You're not going to be able to pick your upgrades or anything like that. So this already came selected with all upgrades and structural features. So this is the Juniper model and this is the smallest model I think in Costalana at 2066 square feet. Um, it comes with three bedrooms and a den downstairs, but this one was specced out for four bedrooms and three full bathrooms and a two car garage. I'm going to enter through the garage and go over the garage and then we'll check it out. So when you buy new construction, obviously we do a frame walkthrough. Um, and that's pretty much the only walkthrough you do until closing when you do the final walkthrough. So right here you have your main water line and then also for your fire sprinklers. And then in the back, it's going to have the tankless water heater and it's also plumb for a water softener and then your main electrical panel. It's the front. It's gonna have a nice little balcony too. This is elevation C. So then when you walk in, extremely high ceilings. They already have the insulation for the most part put in. They still have the insulation for the roof to go. Um, so right here is the green stuff is some sort of chemical spray or paint for pests. And then mainly in the water areas, you have this line right here for pest control. So you can hire a pest company to have, there's tubes that they'll spray from the outside and they'll go through these little green tubes. And these little green tubes have little tiny holes that'll spray inside the walls of your house. It's only um, again in the wet areas and downstairs only. They were missing four can lights here. It's wired for a ceiling fan. It has a Smurf tube. It'll have that little section here to hang your TV. And then the kitchen. And they were also missing some pendant lighting pre-wire. Your island's gonna go here. They're gonna have the gourmet kitchen package where there's gonna be a cook or an oven and a microwave, the cooktop. Uh, where's the fridge gonna go? Hmm, maybe right there, I don't know. And then that's supposed to be a pantry. And then they selected, not my buyers, but the design team, when they pre-specced uh, out this home, they did that huge 12 foot slider that slides in the middle. Oh my God. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So this is, has two can lights and pre-wired four ceiling fan. The backyard does not come landscaped. However, this will have pavers up into right here. It's a small yard. I don't know how many square feet the yard is. Then you have that retaining wall to another community. And this is still part of your home as well. So this one has the full fourth bedroom downstairs. I do believe in the model, it's um, a den. So you have a bedroom and then also your closet right here. Then it's gonna have a standing shower with the plumbing, toilet, and shower. Upstairs. This one also has a loft. I forgot to mention that. The 
This does have the four can lights and pre-wire for ceiling fan and the Smurf tube. Come up and you have your laundry room with your smart panel. Fiber optics. The orange tubing is for your sprinkler system, your fire sprinkler system. <clears throat> Bedroom number three, two. This is for your draining. White and red is your water lines. White is cold, red is hot. And this does not have any additional cam lights, but it is pre-wired for a ceiling fan. Then you have the upstairs guest bathroom with two sinks, a toilet, and the basic fiberglass tub insert. Then your fourth bedroom. Now, if you don't know about the fire sprinklers, so that, oh, before I get into that, this is pre-wired for the ceiling fan. It'll be a switch for, there's going to be a plug where you can put a light, switch for the ceiling fan, and a fitch, switch for the light in the ceiling fan. So for the fire sprinklers, um, basically if there's a fire right here and it reaches a certain temperature, then the fire sprinkler right here is going to go off and not the rest of the house. for your thermostat here's the primary and they were missing the four can lights up here as well that's why it's good to do these frame walkthroughs because you can see what is going to be missing um, just in case they didn't miss something and the primary does also have the smurf tubing as well now this has the generic tub shower combo insert and eventually if you want you can always change that out but this is what the design team for Taylor Morrison selected, and then the double sinks. So it looks like a good size walk-in closet, and then your toilet. Um, not sure. I think when I looked online, the prices are starting in the, what is it? mid 700s now it's kind of crazy i think what my clients bought last year it was like in the mid 500s <laughs> man has the market gotten cray cray anyways folks i think that's about it i'm not going to take you on the side of the house let me know in the comments what you think of this walk through and um just to surmise what this model is this is the juniper model with four bedrooms three full baths a loft and a two-car garage if you're thinking about buying new construction in Summerlin, I sell a lot of new construction here. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, make sure, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, there's my car. It's time to go. See y'all on the flip side.